Yo, what is up, guys? Cozy Joe back with another tutorial, and this is kind of suggested by a viewer. This correlates to the SVP 60 FPS tutorial. One guy addressed to me that he'd rather converse the interpolation rather than in real time. I know some of you people lack the computer performance and don't want to suffer from lag and computer freezes and hiccups. This only works if you actually download your files. It could be illegally or legally, which is the case. <laughs> So this method I'm about to go through still puts stress on your computer. It's just the time it takes to convert and all that bullshit. In short, this is the complex way. You will be required to download about 3 or 4 programs. I will go over all specifics and steps to the best of my abilities. I might run to some trouble installing the program because I completely forgot how to do so exactly. But um, I'll cut those part out. Also check out this cool Sora Online interface. This fucking sick? Yeah, if you guys want want this or um, are interested in it, just let me know in the comment section below. Um, I'll gladly do a tutorial. And uh, yeah, this is so fucking sick. <laughs> Check this out. So I uh, just Google something random. Look, it's a browser. Alright, uh, on tutorial. Since I'm so nice, I put all the files you need inside a Dropbox. I'll leave the down links in the description below, so click on those. Get those three programs, the AVI synth, which is right here, the Magui right here, and the MKV tool nix. So um install all this bull crap. <laughs> I, I guess I'll go over the installation with you guys. So yeah, AVI synth install this. Agree. Next, it should install for that. Don't want to do it. Cause I already did. Go back. Install MK tool next. 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 Install. Already done so, so no need. For Magui, you don't have to install, so which is which is good. You know, easy. Install this. And also make sure once you get to um, at the install page, you'll get to a page. Oh wait, fuck! I'm so sorry, guys. Never mind. You have to get a a codec pack. It's called K Light Mega Codec Pack. Uh, just simply Google it. So like this, K Light Mega Codec Pack. Get this. Um, down the first mirror. Blah blah blah. You know, just be simple. Really, really simple. Wow, it's raining like shit outside. So after you get that codec pack, when installing it, make sure to select Profile 9. Um, I guess I'll just I'll just do it. So um, where is it at? Oh, I didn't even download it. Crap. I'll cut this out. <laughs> Holy shit, that's long. Whatever, just when you get to a step that tells you all the profiles, make sure you select profile nine that says lots of stuff. And and this is really important. I wanna emphasize this is this is a must. <laughs> if you mess up right here, you're gonna pretty much mess up the whole procedure. I'm sorry for messing up a lot because um I'm kinda doing this without a script right now. So it's it's really hard for me. <laughs> You want to remember that file that had the AVI synth? Go in it. You'll see a folder called Tools, right? Go inside. Copy this folder right here. Oh, all this stuff inside the folder. Copy. Control C. Locate into Magui. So I'll just show you where. So it should be in your program files. Uh, Magui. Yeah, right here. Tools, right? Go in here. AVI synth. I'll plug in. Boom, paste that shit in there, and you should be good. So now back to the Magui folder. Go in it, start the program. So once you're inside, um, press Control R. All right, now you'll get this window. All you gotta do is click Config. You see this template right here? Um, I'll copy and paste a um, a script in the description below, so make sure to copy that. So 
This is what you should have. See this? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Here are some important notes. Uh, make sure the path to the third line is correct. So, which is pretty much this. If it's not, you know, fix it. And um, another note is you should, you should change your chords to the amount of core you have in your computer. So, example, if you have a quad core, that's four. And if you want to, you could also add a, um, a line that says GPU GPU equals true. Ah, I can't even spell. This will improve quality by adding um, this little script. But um, the encoding will take longer and it's slower. So take that into account. So after you got the script down, you want to click on new. Make give a preset a name. So I'll just name it 60 FPS. You know, press OK. You could update it. And then that's all. Now the next step. Um, if I remember correctly, some people will encounter um, this part as an issue, and um, that is when this right here, preferred DSS2 over Direct Show Source, is grayed out, and they can't even you know uh, check it. To fix this um, error, you want to look up Holly Media Splitter and uh, download this shit right here. Install. Uh, make sure you close Magui. Well, for me, it's fine. I don't have the error. But if I'm, I'm saying if you do, you know, just down this handy little program. It should get rid of it. You should be able to check it after you and launch it again. So check this and click OK. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. There you go. All done. Now. After that, you're pretty much good to go. I could go in more depth with the Magui, but it's really, uh, I think it's a bit complicated, but good for you guys. I found an easy alternative than all this complicated bullshit. So Google what I'm about to Google. Okay, so it's called Interframe Gooey. There you go. So it should be the first link right here. Scroll all the way down to, to download. Click install. And yeah, yeah, I know. Don't worry. I it looks like a virus, judging from its you know its icon. I'm, I already have it, but um, let's see what is that. What the fuck? <laughs> Never mind. I did. Well, I'm gonna click install and get the setup. All right. Now, run it. And um, it should install really quickly. After that, it should be good to go. Alright, so now you're in the program, right? And don't worry, this won't harm your computer, I promise. <laughs> let's uh let's convert something. So right now I have a let me see what I have. Uh, uh what do I have on my computer? So I have the first episode of Attack on Time, so I'm gonna use that as an example. So I'm gonna drag that in. So I just drag a video into the um, the yellow area. You see it, Shigeki no Kyojin, episode one. It's an MKB file. Um, just copy my settings. You know the X264 codec, put it on medium quality, 19.5. For tuning, I would change it to um, animation. Go to advance. Uh. This should be, oh, you change the tuning right here. Change the animation. Because it's not a movie or anything. It's anime. <laughs> Alright, you have us all set up. Click on proceed. It should start up after about 10 seconds or so. Oh, I ran into an error. Oh, oh, oh well. Alright, hold up. <laughs> I'll cut this out. Alright, so sorry about that. I ran into some kind of error and I had to fix it and it took a while. But after you drop your video in, you just click on proceed. So that's apparently the Attack on Titan episode I had was, I guess it was broken or it was compatible. So right now I'm using, as you can see, a coming guy kill. Yes, yeah, it's my horrible subs. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to press proceed and it should kick in right there.
the estimated time of finishing would probably be about 40 minutes for me. So yeah. Uh, the speed is based on your uh, your CPU. This does put stress on your computer, but um, while this converts, just go do your own thing. Watch some TV. Go outside. Get some fresh air. Well, I can't right now because it's ringing like cats and dogs and shit like that. But uh, yeah, I'll be back in around 40 minutes. So yeah, peace. I mean, see you later. <laughs> All right. Uh, just came back and uh, let's see. Let's see the uh, results. So I have a coming kill right here. So where's the converted episode? It should be yeah, here. It is. There you go. It's converted to 60 FPS. Pretty nice, huh? Let's skip around. It's consistent, which is good about this um this method. Just double check. You just right click it. Go to properties. Go to details. It'll tell you the information. So yeah, frame rate is at 60. And all this stuff. And that is it, guys. Not really simple, am I right? I had a hard time explaining this too, since it was scriptless. So yeah, sorry. If it's unclear, look in the description below. I will list a step-by-step -step procedure that is much clearer than my instructions I told you guys. I was just basically giving you an overview on the steps. I think it's best to look in the description though. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Plus, if you run into any problems, please do not hesitate to ask. I will gladly assist you. I respond back promptly and swiftly. I guarantee it. Well, as always, thank you for watching and uh, sub or like if you want. In addition, if you want a tutorial on the Sword Art UI thingy, if about, let's say, five people ask for it, I will deliver it. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.